Welcome, this is Zon with Repo Products. This is Revit Tips and Tricks, tip number 21 and 22. Tip number 21 is how to select multiple curtain wall panels in the various methods. Tip number 22 is how to use the join geometry command for door openings in particular situations. If I head over to the 3D view of this Revit file, you'll see we have a curtain panel here. And I have the ability to tab into a particular panel. What a lot of people may not realize is that you have the ability to right click that panel and select the panels different ways, such as along the vertical grid line, or along the horizontal grid line, or on the entire host. So if I, for example, pick just on the vertical grid line, then I can see that they are pinned down by default. I can unpin all three of them, and then I can change them to a different type. Maybe I'll just use a brick wall. And you can see I can change just those three panels to something else. It's very similar to when you tab into a mullion and you right click and you select the mullion in various methods. Say for example the border mullions. And I would unpin those and change those to something else, say a one inch square. And they can adjust very quickly and easily this way. The next tool tip involves looking at a door where you create the door, it automatically creates the opening in the wall. But there's an adjacent wall against this main wall, and you want to be able to have the opening of the door cut this as well. You can just use the join geometry command to join the two walls together, and that opening will be created. So if I create another door over here, it should cut that by default. If I use the unjoin geometry command, to unjoin the walls, then that opening doesn't react to that second adjacent wall. And those are the tool tips number 21 and 22.